Hello everyone, welcome back to Badly and today our topic is how to post RSS feed to Facebook pages. So here I'm running a financial advisory Facebook page and now what I want is that I want to update my followers with all the latest trends, updates and the news. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to update my RSS feed and I'm going to automatically post that on my Facebook page. So here RSS stands for really simple syndication and as I'm going to get an updated news on my RSS feed then automatically I'm going to create a new post on my Facebook page. So for my objective I have to build a connection between RSS by Pabli and Facebook page. So for building this connection I'm going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect as I'm going to receive a new feed in my RSS feed then automatically by capturing that detail, I'm going to create a new post in my Facebook page. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can automatically post RSS feed data to Facebook pages. In today's fast-paced digital world, keeping your audience informed and engaged with the latest update is crucial for maintaining a strong online presence. If you run a financial blog, manage a finance related Facebook page or are involved in any finance industry then posting real time updates from reliable source can significantly enhance your page's value. So imagine I'm managing a Facebook page dedicated to financial news and stock market updates. Now my followers rely on my page to stay informed about the latest market trends, stock prices and financial news. So manually posting these updates can be time consuming and prone to delays which might cause my audience to miss out on critical information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate this process with the help of Pabli Connect. Now with Pabli Connect, I'm going to process my RSS feed data on my Facebook page. So I can ensure that my audience receives timely and relevant updates without any manual effort. And here I'm going to use the RSS feed of money control. So money control is a well-known source for comprehensive financial news and integrating its RSS feed with my Facebook page ensure that my followers are always in the loop with the latest financial development. So by automating this process, I can save my time, I can be consistent and I can automatically increase my reach while every new post shared on my Facebook page has the potential to reach a wider audience, increase traffic to my website and expand my content's reach. So by integrating my RSS feed with Facebook page using Pabli Connect, I can automate this process seamlessly and ensure that my content is always reaching my audience with minimal effort. So let's dive into this automation and how we are going to set up this automation between RSS feed and Facebook page. For that, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. Now with Pabli Connect, I'm going to build this connection between RSS feed and Facebook page without any coding and programming skills. Now for using Pabli Connect, I need to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here we have two options sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect then we can just click on this sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow and for that I'm going to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow so I'm going to name it as my objective which is to post RSS feed data to Facebook pages. Now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here I will find all the folders that I have in my Pabli Connect account and here I have this particular folder of Facebook page. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on and trigger says when this happens action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that and in our workflow we can only set up one trigger step and multiple action steps. 
Now here in my trigger, what I need to do is I need to capture the RSS feed data. And for that, I'm going to use RSS by Pabli. So I'm going to select that as my trigger application. And now I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new item in feed will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to connect RSS by Pabli with Pabli connect. So I'm going to click here on connect. And now for capturing the RSS feed data, what I need to do is I need to give the feed URL. Now for getting this feed URL, I'm going to use money control. So I need to take you to money control RSS website. And if you search on your browser, like money control RSS feed, then you will get on this website. Now here you will find all the RSS feed of all these new sections. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this RSS feed of business news. So here I'm going to open this RSS feed of business news. And now I need to copy this URL. So I'm going to copy this URL from my path URL. And now I need to go to public connect. And here I'm going to paste that URL that I've copied for my RSS feed data. So I'm going to paste that here in this tab. And now what I need to do is I need to select my filter type. So here I'm going to use this default recommended filter type. But if you want to filter your RSS feed on basis of the different GUID or the different published date, then you can select these type too. I'm going to use this default filter type. And now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button. Now by clicking on Steven send test request button, I can see I have received this response. So in this response, I have the detail of my news that I have received from my RSS feed. And in this, I have also received the published date, link of my RSS feed news. And also I have received this GUID. Now I have successfully received this response, but if you don't receive this response instantly, then you don't have to worry because this is a polling based response. And within one hour, you're going to receive this response from RSS by Pabli. So this one hour is the polling time of RSS by Pabli. And now here, what is going to happen is that in every one hour, it is going to start capturing the response of the new RSS feed data. And it is going to get all that data automatically to Pabli connect in every one hour. So this one hour is the polling time of RSS by Pabli. And we are going to receive this new response from RSS by Pabli in one hour. So here I have received this response and in this response, I have this title of my news that is ICICI Prudential Life Insurance to focus on growing absolute VNB amid slump in FY24. Also, I have received all these detail. Now what I need to do is I need to use all these detail and I automatically want to update my followers by updating this news on my Facebook page. So what I need to do is I need to post this RSS feed on my Facebook page. So for that, I need to set up my action step. And here in my action application, I'm going to use Facebook page. So I'm going to select Facebook pages here. And now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create page post will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Facebook pages with Pabli connect. So I'm going to click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And now I'm going to click on connect with Facebook pages. Now here I need to click on continue to give access to my account. And here my connection is successful. Now what I need to do is I need to first select my page where I want to create this post. So for selecting my page, I need to first take you to my Facebook account. And in my Facebook account, I'm going to use this page of Pabli connect. So here in this page, I want to create a new post with my RSS feed data. So for that, I'm going to take you back to Pabli connect. And here for selecting my page, I need to open this tab and here I will find all the Facebook pages that I have in my Facebook account. And I'm going to use this Pabli connect page. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to give the message or the caption of my post. And also I can give the link URL of my RSS feed that I'm going to receive from my data of RSS feed. So here I need to first give the message that I want to post as a caption. So here my message will be stay updated with the latest news. And here I have this message that says, Hey everyone, we have got some exciting news for you. Stay in the loop with latest updates, article and special announcement by following this page. And also here in this message, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the title of my news that I have received from my RSS feed data. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my response of RSS by Pabli and I'm going to map that here. So here for doing that, I need to use mapping. And what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps 
and the data that is changing will get placed with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I need to open this response of RSS by Pabli. And here this is the title of my news, so I'm going to map this. And now in this tab of link URL, I'm going to give the link URL of my news. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of RSS by Pabli. And here this is my link, so I'm going to map this. And here I have successfully mapped all these details and I have filled all the required details. Now as I have mapped these details, I have made these details dynamic. So what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive the response of the latest news from my RSS feed of money control, then automatically all these details that I have mapped here are going to automatically replace in the real time and I'm going to receive the detail of the latest news and I'm going to post that automatically on my Facebook page. Now I have filled all the required details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have created a new post on my Facebook page. So to check this, let me take you to my Facebook page. I'm going to refresh this page. And here on my page, I'm on my post section and in this post section, we can see I have created this new post that says, stay updated with the latest news. Hey everyone, we have got some exciting news for you. Stay in the loop with the latest updates, articles and special announcement by following this page. And here I have the news title that is ICICI Prudential Life Insurance to focus on growing absolute VNB amid slump in FY24. So this was the title of my news and here I have the link of this news. So by opening up this link, I can automatically get to my money control website where this update or this news was added. So automatically to read the full news, I can use that link that I have posted on my Facebook page and I can automatically get to that update or to that news or I can automatically get to the website of money control to check that news. So here this was the latest news that money control has updated on their RSS feed and I have automatically posted that on my Facebook page. So I'm going to take you back to Facebook page. And here we can see that I have successfully created this automation between RSS feed and Facebook page. Now as I'm going to receive a new update or a new RSS feed data from RSS by Pabli or money control, then automatically I'm going to post that news or that update on my Facebook page. And I'm going to create this new post on my Facebook page from my RSS feed data. So here I've successfully created this automation and by this automation, I can automatically create new engagement have a wider reach to my followers and I can earn the trust of my followers. So by setting up this automation for this process of posting RSS feed on Facebook page, I can automatically create new posts on my Facebook page with the RSS feed data. Now let me take you back to Pabli Connect. And here we have successfully created this connection between RSS by Pabli and Facebook pages. And now by using RSS by Pabli, we are getting RSS feed data from money control. So here while setting up this connection between RSS by Pabli and Facebook pages, we are automatically posting new RSS feed data to Facebook pages. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was RSS by Pabli and my trigger event was new item in feed. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Facebook pages and my action event was create page post. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description. So you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.